Graduates and faculty, trustees and honored guests, welcome to the Fall 2020 Commencement Ceremony of Volunteer State Community College. At this time, Justin Freck will come and sing the national anthem for us. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for oh, the ramparts we watched. Were so gallantly streaming in the rocket's ray glare, the bombs bursting in air came through, through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangled banner get away? of the free and the home of the brave. Please be seated. Thank you, Justin. Uh, Justin is one of our recent graduates from our Associates of Applied Science program in professional music. And so we appreciate his contribution to today's ceremony. Also want to give thanks to Mr. Ben Graves, the department chair for visual and performing arts as he provided the accompaniment. I know today may be a bittersweet occasion while it is a time of joy and celebration it is also a reminder of those that are no longer with us. And so to observe that, let's take a moment to remember those that cannot be with us today and also to give thanks for the blessings that we have received. Thank you. Again, welcome to everyone to this 2020 commencement program. We find ourselves in a very unique time. Uh, the pandemic has certainly changed a lot of things, changed the way that we do a lot of routine things. Normally this ceremony would take place over in our Pickled Field House and there would be some 3,500 people in attendance. Instead, we are celebrating virtually, uh, socially distanced in our own homes and in other locations. As we continue to respond to the pandemic, we knew very early on uh, that we had to do something about commencement. We made the decision for safety's sake that we would provide a virtual ceremony, um, very unusual ceremony. Even without an in-person opportunity, we, we knew we had to do something to honor this great occasion, this milestone for our graduates. And so we very much appreciate the work of the commencement committee in putting together this opportunity. It was a very difficult decision for me to decide to not have an in-person ceremony because uh, in-person graduation is one of my favorite, thing, favorite things as, as president of the college. And so what I'm, uh, what I'm thinking about now, I'm creating this mental picture in my mind of the graduates in their cap and gown uh, at their homes gathered around a television or a computer uh, with their closest family and friends and celebrating this important milestone in your life. We have lots of folks joining us in this virtual ceremony, many states across the United States and even folks from around the world. I often try to recognize uh, a family that I believe may be the farthest from Gallatin, Tennessee, uh, but we had so many folks observing from around the world. Uh, I've been told that we have folks from Ethiopia, Guatemala, the United Kingdom, 
the Dominican Republic, Germany, China, Inner Mongolia, Jordan, Australia, South Sudan, Mexico, and Canada who are joining us today. So welcome to all of you for this virtual ceremony. For those family and friends that are not able to view it at this time, please let them know that starting this afternoon, the ceremony will be streamed on the Vol State website where you're watching it at this point, volstate.edu forward slash graduation. The ceremonies will also be telecast on local cable TV beginning Thursday, December 17th. In Gallatin and Hendersonville, it will be on Comcast Cable Channel 19 and on Universe Channel 99. The program will be aired twice daily at 4 p.m. and at 9 p.m. Let me take this opportunity to offer thanks to all of those who have worked so hard to make this day a great occasion. Thank you to Justin Freck and to Ben Graves for the musical presentations. The commencement committee has done a marvelous job of planning and organizing. Our student services division, especially the staff in the records office worked very hard to make the day possible. And many members of our media team here at the college have worked many hours to make preparations. Thank you all for a job well done. At this time, I'd like to introduce the members of the leadership team of the college that are joining me here on the platform. First of all, Emily Short, Vice President for Student Affairs. Would you stand? Thank you. Jennifer Brezina, Vice President for Academic Affairs. Beth Carpenter, Vice President for Business and Finance. Colette Catania, Vice President for Institutional Effectiveness, Research, Planning, and Assessment. And Jennifer James, Faculty Council Speaker. At Vol State, one of our core values is that we are all educators. And you may have never seen these people in a classroom. You, you may never have seen them at all. But trust me, in their role as leaders of the college, they have made significant contributions to your educational success. Also have another honored guest on the platform that I'll be introducing as she participates in the ceremony. Again, class of 2020, congratulations. You've made it to this important milestone. It's a great day of celebration. Uh, a total of 808 students were eligible to participate in the ceremony today. 11 of you are graduating with a perfect 4.0 GPA. 214 of you are graduating with GPA academic honors. And this is a unique commencement in that this year we have the first class the first group of nurses graduating from our nursing program here at Volunteer State Community College. And there's even more good news. 100% of you passed the NCLEX exam on the first attempt to become registered nurses. So all you nurses out there, wherever you happen to be, okay, here's what I want you to do. I want you to put those flanges up in the air. Come on, raise those metacarpals high. Flex at the articulation between your humerus and your ulna, and give yourself a pat on the trapezius for a job well done. Our youngest graduate today is 18. And in fact, we have three 18-year-olds that are participating in the ceremony. Julia Ketchy, she was a former student in our middle college. Lillian Hickman and Col Cullen Roberts. So they're among the youngest graduates. On the other end of the spectrum, our oldest graduate today is 70 years old. Our oldest graduate participating in the ceremony today is Andrea Benson, and she's graduating with honors. And Andrea wrote recently, I am 58 years old, and when I began taking classes just over a year ago, it was the fourth time I had started taking classes to complete my associate's degree. And by the way, I want you all to know that I had permission to give Andrea's age. I never say a woman's age without asking her permission. Andrea went on to write, 
The difference this time is that I have five grandchildren that were watching me do my school schoolwork and excited to see me graduate. My daughter, who is a single mom of two, also started taking classes at the same time. I decided that if she, as a single mother of two, could juggle work, school, and motherhood, I could handle a few classes. Congratulations, Andrea. This is a diverse graduating class. We have graduates in this class from seven of the United States and 22 different birth countries outside the United States. And today's ceremony is turning out to be a bit of a family affair. April and Brandon Connor are married and both are graduating today with applied science degrees. We have another married couple, Christopher and Dakota Gillette, who are graduating, both with associates of science degrees in business and administration. And we have a mother-daughter graduating together. Tanya and Jordan Rhodes are both graduating today. And Kaya and Kirsten Killian are twins graduating today. So very much a family affair, and I hope you're enjoying it in your home or your place of viewing at this time. And I know this is gonna feel weird because you're not here in the auditorium, but if you are the first in your family to graduate from college, would you please stand wherever you are? Graduates, would you stand up and congratulate yourself for doing this? If you're a parent, would you please stand up? Thank you for being an example to your children. Graduates, 312 of you started at Vol State because of the Tennessee Promise. If you started at Vol State because of Tennessee Reconnect, would you please stand? There are 228 of you that started at Vol State because of the Tennessee Reconnect. Let me take this opportunity to speak to those that are not part of the graduating class. The Tennessee Reconnect is a last dollar scholarship that makes tuition free at Volunteer State Community College if you don't already have a degree. And so if you'd like more information, you can contact the college or you can visit our website. And so maybe next year or shortly thereafter, you can be part of the graduating class instead of just being an observer. Among the graduates participating in the ceremony today, there are four veterans. So if you are a veteran, reservist, or active duty member of the military, would you please stand and accept our appreciation for your service? Thank you. If you're still standing, please be seated. Some people have asked me why I tell these little stories while I offer these little tidbits of information at each commencement. I do it because I want us to remember that for each graduate there is a story. Sometimes that story is relatively smooth and represents a straight path, but for others there have been many obstacles that had to be overcome to reach this milestone in your life. And so regardless of your path, we want to honor your accomplishment today. Graduates, you know you would not be here today without the support of your family and friends. And so please find some way to express your appreciation to them. Uh, since you may actually be sitting beside them in the same room, a hug might be in order at this point to show your appreciation. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jennifer James, and it is my honor and privilege to serve as faculty council speaker. When I ran for this position, I knew that I would be at the tables and in the rooms where important decisions are made. I just didn't realize that they would be Zoom rooms, and I would be at my own kitchen table in my slippers and pajama pants. But I'm so proud of the decisions Vol State has made in the response to this pandemic to put student well-being and safety first. And I'm especially proud of the incredible work that our faculty have done 
to move their classes online in the spring, and their continued dedication for excellence in the classroom, even if that classroom is a Zoom room. I want to recognize the hard work and success of all of our graduates. Congratulations, you did it. Through tornadoes, uncertainty, a global pandemic, and going to class online, you were resilient, you persevered. Well done. You deserve all the accolades and praise you are receiving from your friends and family and community. We are so proud of you. Eleven of you were nominated for the Fall Outstanding Graduate Award, and I'm proud to announce the winner of that award now. The winner of this award is no stranger to uncertainty. According to the faculty members who nominated her, she and her family lost their home and all of their belongings in a violent tornado some years ago. They started over in Middle Tennessee where this student not only rose above the loss, but truly thrived at Vol State. She began as a dual enrollment student and worked diligently through her coursework to earn a 3.9 grade point average. She has served in student government where she's developed a reputation for getting things done. She stepped up to take on important projects such as revamping the SGA scholarships and assembling food boxes for distribution, even dressing in costume and handing out Halloween treats. According to this SGA sponsor, she always put the mission of the organization first, was always ready with words of support and encouragement. Her hard work and positivity have been an asset to SGA this year and have been especially important as it adjusts to circumstances created by the pandemic. The words her advisor used to describe this student were humility, curiosity, diligence, and dignity. She has proven herself to be an outstanding student who has a kind heart and a curious mind and an ability to rise above loss and use her positive attitude to do well for herself while also helping others. For these reasons, I am proud to award the Outstanding Graduate Award to Lillian Hickman. Congratulations. It is a pleasure at this time to recognize those students graduating with honors as designated in the program. You will notice that some graduates are wearing different color stoles or medallions representing their membership in either our academic honors program or one of our honor societies. All honors recipients are wearing gold tassels. Congratulations on your achievements. Thank you, Jennifer, and thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> uh, I want to introduce to you this year's Ball State Distinguished Alumnus, who is here to welcome you into the Ball State Alumni Association. This year, the Ball State Community College Alumni Advisory Council named Evelyn Hill as their 2020-21 Distinguished Alumnus of the Year recipient. Evelyn is a 2000 graduate of Volunteer State Community College and is the Senior Divisional Director at the Jason Foundation. In addition to her degree from Volunteer State Community College, Evelyn also earned a Bachelor's Degree in Human Resources Management and Services from Trevecca Nazarene University. Evelyn is a Leadership Sumner alumnus, member of the Board of United Way of Sumner County Executive Allocations Committee, and currently serves as chair, Chairperson of the BSCC Alumni Association. Evelyn attends Corona First Baptist Church here in Gallatin, where she serves on the ministerial staff, the outreach ministry, and on the mother's board. Evelyn Hill. Thank you, and as Dr. Faulkner said, I am so happy and excited, and it's just a privilege to speak to our graduates today. You know what, we, it has been a difficult year. It's been very challenging. We have went through the pandemic that have killed almost 260,000 in one year. We've 
went through a time where our EMS, our nurses, our doctors, our people have just went overboard to make this year a better year for all of us. We've lost loved ones, we've lost family members, we've lost coworkers, we've been alienated from our churches, we've just had to separate ourselves. Our common dress attire now is to wear a mask and to have our temperatures checked at every level. It has been hard. It has been very, very challenging. I hear often people say, I wish this year was over. I wish I had never been born or had this opportunity to experience what I'm going through now. But I beg the difference. You know what, we are still here. We're still fighting to survive. We're, we will make it through. And for the graduates, you did it. You went through a time when the classroom became your kitchen your bathrooms, your living rooms. You had no private time because you had to make time. You became your daycare and yet you were able to complete your credits and to graduate today. No matter what people say, if they tell you this has been the worst year, this has been a terrible time, you can say in 2020, I graduated. I made it through the difficult and we're so proud of you. Some of you will go on to, to, a seat, to receive other degrees, and that's beautiful. Some of you will say, I've reached what I want to do. I have my associates, and I won't go any further. Or some of you might be like me. I graduated from high school in 1973, but I was married. I had kids. I could only take one class at a time. It took me 18 years to get an associate's degree. But you know what? Vol State was here for me and it worked in my time frame. So, but then I decided after I received that degree to go on. So some of you might stop for a little bit, take a deep breath and say, you know what? I can go on. And we're so proud of you. We want you to do that. But also we want you to remember Volunteer State community college. Don't forget about the growing uh, that you have achieved and, and the goals that you've met. Your dreams have been completed here at Ball State. Don't forget about us. If you move away, call back to the foundation and say, hey, I want to receive the newsletter. I want to know what's going on at Volunteer State. Donate. Help us to help another student to complete their dreams. Whatever it takes, do not forget about us. You now belong to a beautiful group. You are an alumni student of Volunteer State. Never forget that. We will not forget you. And if you stay here locally, try to, and it's our goal and our prayers, that next year we will be together, that we can have events and dinners and receptionists. That's what we want to do. But if things change and we don't, we will do it through Zoom. We will be with our families, but we don't want you to forget the alumni. And we are so proud of you graduates for the 2020 year that you have struggled, you survived, and you did it, and God bless you. And one great scholar wrote this, says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And God gave you the ability to go through and make it through 2020 and we're proud of you, you did it. Thank you, Evelyn, we appreciate that so much. Graduates, you would certainly not be here today were it not for the great faculty that we have here at the college. I would ask you to find some way to express your appreciation to those faculty members that you have had in class or that served as your advisor. Uh, perhaps an email, perhaps a phone call, perhaps a written letter. At this time, I would like to have faculty representing the different academic divisions of the college to come forward and offer you wishes of congratulations and encouragement. Fall graduates of 2020, Congratulations. My name is Professor Doug Williams of the Math and Science Department. I'm sure I had some of you for your Fundamentals of Chemistry course or the Chem 1030 class, of, of which it's been a pleasure. 
George Washington Carver says that 99% of the failures come from people who make the habit of making excuses. Well, guys, in the midst of a pandemic, you have persevered and prevailed. Congratulations on not making excuses and reaching the pinnacle of graduating and, and receiving your reward. I want to encourage you in the next phase of your life, whether it's trans transitioning or uh, going to another institution and completing your bachelor's, continue to do well in Excel. Again, congratulations and good luck. I wish you well. Well, congratulations to our Vol State Community College graduates here in December of 2020. I'm John Espy and I'm representing the Business and Technology Division here on campus and we as a faculty and a staff want to let you know we're very proud of what you've accomplished and we're glad to have been a part of your education. We know this is a time for you to spend with family and friends and we salute you for your accomplishments. As we look back over a number of years these times are as challenging as any times we've been through as a country and a society. We've been through war, we've been through economic downturn, we've been through weather challenges, we've been through human rights development, and now, of course, the COVID crisis that we all hope to put behind us very soon. We know these challenges you've been a part of are gonna help you become better problem solvers, they're gonna help you adjust to the challenges that are around the corner, and Hopefully, it'll help you provide assistance to your employers, your family, and yourselves. We want to remind you, as we send along these congratulations, that Vol State continues to be a part of you, and you'll continue to be a part of Vol State. If you and your employer have employment needs, remember Vol State. We've got a placement and cooperative education office ready to work with you at any time. We know that you won't be on campus regularly, but feel free to stay in touch with us. Feel free to stay in touch with Vol State and see what's going on. We wish you the very best in your continued success, the very best in your future, and we look forward to having you be a part of Vol State from this point forward. Again, congratulations. Hi, my name is Mel Matthews. I'm the director and associate professor of sleep diagnostic technology, or polysomnography, here at Volunteer State Community College. I am very honored to represent all of the outstanding faculty and staff of the Health Sciences Division in saying congratulations to the 2020 fall graduates. Volunteer State Community College has a great reputation for health sciences career programs and we know that this year's graduating class will undoubtedly represent us well in maintaining that great reputation. For all of the family members and friends who are viewing this ceremony, you should be very proud as we are of your graduate for sticking it out and finishing their goal, especially during such a trying year. Health sciences students in particular are required to do things that most others are not. Many had to compete for the spot of, in their program of their choice, and then they were subjected to things like background checks and drug screens, and, and they had to submit lots of other documentation, such as vaccination records and training documents that are beyond the requirements to work in most other fields. Many health sciences students, including mine, even had to do their clinical rotations on third shift, while some even maintained a day shift job. After graduation, many will also have to pass a board exam in order to get a license to practice in these health sciences careers. So these health sciences graduates have persevered through a pandemic like none of us have ever experienced before, and even risked their own health and safety at times, not for payment or, or compensation, but simply to complete their education and because of a desire to help others. You know, we've all learned a lot this year and, and we've learned things that we never knew we would have to learn. You know, I stand here and my homemade haircut and, you know, things like brushing your teeth better because you don't want to go to the dentist. Of course, these things affect the people who are doing those jobs too. So we want to keep those people in mind as well. This, this COVID pandemic has affected certain professions disproportionately. So hopefully a vaccine and better treatments are on the horizon, but for now we all need to do our part in keeping each other safe by doing what we can to prevent the spread of this virus that continues to endanger many of our loved ones. 
your healthcare workers, believe me, could use some relief as well. And finally, on the bright side of all that for our health sciences graduates is that you're always going to be needed. There's always going to be a need for health care providers. You are well equipped to go out and make a brighter future for you and your families. You're going to affect so many lives going forward, and that's something that you can be very proud of. So make the most of it and know that we are behind you all the way. Uh, stay safe, and again, congratulations to you all. I'm Cassandra Cassley, an instructor in the nursing division at Volunteer State Community College teaching between the Gallatin and the Livingston campus. I'd like to start with a quote from Florence Nightingale, who is considered the founder of the modern day nursing. And she said, unless we are making progress in our nursing every year, every month, every week, take my word for it, we're going back. I'd also like to quote a diversely talented person and philosopher, Bruce Lee, who said, knowing is not enough, we must apply. Willing is not enough, we must do. And then finally, I would like to quote Leo Bascalea, who uh, was a best-selling author and a motivational speaker as well as a professor at USC, who said, too often we underestimate the power of a touch, a listening ear, an honest accomplishment, or the smallest act of caring, all of which have the potential to turn a life around. So I challenge you as newly licensed registered nurses to continue to grow in your knowledge of science, in your knowledge of best practice, and in your professional applications of these within nursing. I remind you that having the knowledge is not enough. It is what you do with the knowledge that makes the difference. And I encourage you not to forget that nursing is an action combining knowledge with caring and the need to incorporate these two aspects within all of your nursing interventions to stay true to the foundational components of nursing. I have many stories that I could share from being among this group of students, but my main takeaway is a feeling of a sense of privilege to have been a part of and every ounce of, of effort being worth it. With this graduating class, our inaugural class, we experienced many firsts together, but we not only endured, we succeeded. We successfully completed all the components, some more painfully than others, but you persevered through all the adaptations that were implemented. Beyond the successful completion of class, clinicals, and labs, each of you, 100% of this class, has met the national standards to successfully become registered nurses. Having experienced this journey with you, I am proud of each and every one of you, and again, I encourage you to continue to learn and to continue to grow. And wherever you practice your nursing profession, do it with the awareness that you represent not only your professional bearings, but that you are representing the entire nursing profession. So whatever you do, do it to the best of your abilities. And to finish a quote from my famous previous first lady who said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Thank you. Hi, I'm Michelle Marsh. I teach mathematics at the Cookville campus. Today is a day to be proud. You have achieved something that you yourself may have thought was an impossible task when you first started. Through late nights, early mornings, hard work and determination, you had a goal and you achieved it. Take that same determination with you as you begin working on your next goal in life. For some of you, it may be to continue your education. For others, it may be to begin employment and to begin your career. Whatever you have chosen as your next step, remember the words of Zig Ziglar. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. There's another quote that I always try to live by. Jonathan Winter said, if your ship does not come in, swim out to meet it. He reminds us the importance of taking action. Don't become apathetic and just go through the motions of life. Take control and take action. There are great things awaiting you. Congratulations. What a fantastic day in your life. My name is Roger Brown. I'm a paramedic instructor with Ball State at our Cookville campus. Today's the day you hold your head up high and you throw your shoulders back because you have accomplished something many of your family and friends have not, and that's a college education. Along the way, I'm sure there's been many sacrifices I'm sure that there's been several of you that probably had to work one or more jobs. You sacrificed time with family and friends. And you probably lost an hour or two of sleep. Well, maybe several days of sleep. But you'd be very proud of yourself by what you've accomplished. But not only that, you have probably 
accomplish something that you've not even realized that's going to help you through this journey we call life. I'm sure many of you probably had a course that was very difficult, much more difficult than you anticipated. Or maybe you had an instructor and the two of you just didn't jive. But you hung in there, you didn't quit, and you dug in and you did whatever's necessary to achieve your goal. Several of you now, when you leave, you're going to be either pursuing an additional college education or or maybe a career path. And you're going to have difficult days. And you're going to have two choices to make. Either you can decide it's too tough and you can quit and go another direction, or you can dig in and do whatever's required to be a success in whatever you do. In closing, I'd like to add this. The first week of class, I always challenge my paramedic students. I tell them the world is full of average paramedics and we don't need any more average paramedics. What we do need is outstanding paramedics. The world is full of average people and we don't need any more average people. Now you can argue the point there's nothing wrong with being average and you're absolutely right. But why settle for average when you can be outstanding. And that's what we need more, outstanding people. So again, congratulations. It's a big day in your life. And be kind to someone. Hello, my name is Deb Moore and I'm an Associate Professor of English. On behalf of the Humanities Division, I'm absolutely thrilled and honored to have this opportunity to tell you how very proud we are of you. You've achieved something really big, something no one can ever take from you, and something upon which you can build. During your time here at Vol State, you might have come through the Humanities Division for any number of reasons. It might have been English composition, public speaking, intro to music, philosophy, foreign language, entertainment media, theater, art. In the humanities, we study what it means to be human, and we explore the many, many ways we have to express our human experience. So in this brief moment that I have graciously been given to send a message to you, here is the message that I want to send to you on behalf of the humanities. Your life is a work of art, and you are the artist who gets to create it, to shape it, to change it when necessary, and to watch it become a beautiful expression. We've been honored to act as your easel or your potter's wheel on this stage of your process, but this process is yours. You are the artist of your life, and you get to make it look however you wish. And while you are creating this amazing work of art that is your life, keep in mind that the beauty of our life's creation is often found in the moments when we can be of service to others. Benjamin Franklin started every day with one question, his morning question. And that question was, what good can I do today? The good we do in the world is the key to creating a beautiful life. I encourage you to continue on your journey with the awareness of the power you have to create your life and the good you can do for others. I believe this awareness is a vital part of making your life a masterpiece. Congratulations on this auspicious day. Celebrate yourself today. And again, Never forget, we are really proud of you. Greetings, graduates. My name is David Fuquay, Professor of Economics here at Ball State. I've been asked to share a few words of encouragement. Uh, with that in mind, I'd just like to tell you, I'm sorry uh, if you're like me. I've been faced with the struggles of anxiety of just doing online classes. I know it's not what a lot of you signed up for. I know it's not what I signed up for. 
If there's one silver lining that's come out of all of this, I will never take for granted the opportunity and the privilege to stand in front of a classroom full of students and actually teach. And so I think that's something we both share in common. Uh, if I could pass along one piece of advice, uh, I'm really encouraged about the fact that uh, there's a saying that every generation is defined by the challenges they face. And I think you're getting ready to burst on the scene having dealing with this pandemic, a lot of other global issues, the, the war on terror, uh, income inequality. We still have problems with social justice in this country. Uh, everybody knows what I'm talking about. Uh, so these are things that will define your generation. And to be honest with you, it's your time. I encourage you to go on, finish your education, travel as much as possible, have experiences, and, and basically prepare yourself to take the mantle. We're getting ready to usher in an inauguration of some of the oldest people in the history of the Republic to represent us. Their time is over. It's your time. And so I encourage you to prepare for that time when we pass the mantle, when we're going to be handing off a lot of problems to you. And if I could leave you one humorous thing, one of my favorite uh, TV dance shows was Soul Train, a guy named Don Cornelius. And Don Cornelius at the end of every episode always said, you can bet your last money it's going to be a stone gas, honey. Wishing you love, peace, and soul. Congratulations, graduates. Dr. Jennifer Brezina, Vice President for Academic, Academic Affairs, will you present the graduates? Dr. Faulkner, I have the honor of presenting you our candidates for graduation. They have met or will meet all of the requirements for the appropriate certificate or degree. These candidates have been evaluated and recommended by our faculty. I recommend the conferral of their degree in the awarding of their certificates. Thank you. By authority of the Tennessee Board of Regents, Chancellor Flora Tidings and the Tennessee General Assembly, I confer upon you the appropriate degrees and certificates earned. Please come forward to receive your awards. Congratulations, everyone, and thank you to all my family and friends for all the love and support and my journey with Ball State. Thank you. Good luck, everyone. Thank you. Twenty twenty graduation. I'm graduating with my associates in health science. Uh, shout out to my parents for helping me through it.
I would like to thank the Lord Jesus Christ for being an ever-present help, my husband Mike for keeping our house running as I studied and did homework, and Ball State College. I graduated in a foreign language degree. It didn't fit. So how you put it? Thank you so much to everyone who has helped me. I love you guys. My family don't speak English, so gracias a todos los que están lejos. Os amo mucho. A special thank you to all my family and friends for your love and support and encouragement getting me through this milestone in my life. I love you guys. I'd like to thank my wife for always encouraging me, my mother for always pushing me to go further, and uh, my wonderful family for staying by my side. First of all, we made it. I'm so grateful to be a part of the graduating class of 2020. I'm so thankful to all my friends and family who have supported me along this journey. So congratulations to the class of 2020, because we made it. Thank you to my wife and kids. It's been a long two years, but I made it, class of 2020. It's 2020 and we're finally graduating. Thanks to my parents, I'm able to do so. Love you, mom and dad. Surprise, surprise, I graduated. I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who helped me achieve this monumental goal. Congratulations and good luck to the class of 2020.
Hi, this is Martha Graves, class of 2020 at Ball State in Gallatin, Tennessee. Just want to tell my husband and my children, thank you so much for all of your support. I love you. Class of 2020, we did it! I want to thank my family, my friends, Dr. Green and Professor Boris for always supporting me. This year has been difficult for us all, but we finally are graduating. Congratulations, class of 2020. I am so happy to be graduating from such a great school as Vol State. And I'm so thankful to my friends and my family for helping me get through this and the entire faculty at Vol State. Y'all are amazing. Thank y'all so much. Hey guys, my name is Jamie Johns and today I'm graduating with pre-nursing and furthering that degree at Lipscomb to become a registered nurse. I'm praying for perseverance and strength over all of you. You got this.
class of 2020, I did it. Thank you to my friends and family who have supported me along my journey. I'm so happy to finally be a nurse. I'd like to thank my husband, Travis, friends, family, and my instructors for supporting me along the way. Thanks so much, you guys. Thank you Vol State and the theater department for both giving me the opportunity to write and direct my own show. Thank you for all the love and support and everybody that helped me through this journey. I'm so excited. I love you mom. Work hard and do your best because you deserve it. And I want to thank my family and my wife for all her support and thank God for the opportunity.
Thank you to my family for extending your help on my journey through college. Your encouragement helped me push through times when I wanted to give up. Thank you to everyone who believed in me when I couldn't believe in myself. Hi, this is Adriana Salinas, and I'm happy and excited to announce I'm a 2020 graduate. Gracias a mis padres y primeramente a Dios por permitirme lograr esta meta. I want to thank my friends and family for encouraging me and pushing me along the way. Uh, and I want to thank my wife mainly for supporting me, helping me, and my two boys, Leo and Kai. Thank you, Vol State faculty and staff and everyone else who helped me achieve this goal. I did it. I'm so happy to be graduating with my associate's degree. I'd like to thank my friends and my family for supporting me through my college years. This has been amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Valse, for everything that I have ever accomplished for in my two years here, and I can't wait for, for what the future holds for me. Congratulations, class of 2020, Ball State. Thank you, family, for standing by me, and thank God.
Dr. Brezina. Will all of the candidates please rise? Symbolic of your graduation, please move your tassels from the right side to the left. And now, I present to you graduates of the Volunteer State Community College Class of 2020. Congratulations, graduates. And I would once again add my congratulations. I want to share with you a quote from Aidan Conley. He's an entrepreneur and a pioneering CEO in the area of computer vision and artificial intelligence. He also is a magazine columnist for Forbes magazine and a food and farming futurist. He said, your learning has not stopped when you left college, does not stop when you finish your training program, does not stop when you finish whatever it is you're doing. Even if you are in your 30s or 50s, 30s or 40s or 50s or 60s, you have to continue to improve your skills and prepare for the future. This is the beginning of a new phase of your life. Some of you will go on to jobs and careers. Others of you will go on to earn additional degrees. We hope and trust that all of you will be lifelong learners. We charge you to utilize your academic knowledge and credentials with wisdom, courage, compassion, and high ethical standards, and to serve others even as you fulfill your own aspirations. Our wish for you is health, happiness, success, and fulfillment in all that you do. We ask that you always remember your alma mater, Volunteer State Community College. At this time, please stand as Justin Freck sings the alma mater of Volunteer State Community College. Dear alma mater, pride of Tennessee, we go Congratulations to the fall 2020 graduates of Volunteer State Community College.